Okay, hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're making a guide on how to play Ragnarok Mobile Eternal Love on your laptop or desktop computer. Now if we visit the Ragnarok Eternal Love website, they do provide two options on how you can do this. The first option would be Mumu Emulator by NetEase. It's actually a pretty uh, it's actually a very good emulator to use, especially if you have a low or medium tiered specs computer. Now, I did use this earlier. The only problem I encountered was that I can't find the Mumu Instance Manager wherein you can open up two emulators at the same time so you can play two accounts. So that was a big problem for me since I wanted to play two accounts at the same time and level them up. Now, the next option would be Nox Player. They do have that instance option wherein you can play the game at the same time. However, it wasn't really working out that well for me because the game was lagging or getting disconnected from time to time. Now, the third option that I do know and I've always been using for a few months now would be MemoPlay. Now, this guide would be concerning or it would concern MemoPlay. Now, in order to use this game or this emulator, it would be good for medium tiered computer like mine, is to download and install the game. Now, once you've downloaded and installed the game, two applications would show up on your computer. That would be the Memo Emulator and the Multi Memo Manager or Instance Manager. Now, once you click on the Multiple Instance Manager, what would show up would be Memo. This one or memo memo one won't appear uh, won't appear yet. I just created this earlier, and for a freshly installed one, you would only see memo. Now, once you click on start, let's check out the game. Okay, once you've opened memo play, the first thing you're gonna notice is that there isn't really much applications open. So you need to open Play Store and download the applications that you would need. So for me, I needed Facebook Lite and the two games I usually play, which is Ragnarok M and Rise of Civilizations. Now, after downloading and installing the games on Memo Player or a Memo Emulator, you need to update both games. Now, once you've updated both games, you need to return to the Multiple Instance Manager. Now, once you've returned here, you need to click on Memo, then click on Batch File, then click on Clone. Now, once you click on clone, a copy of this emulator would be created and this would be the, or this would be memo one. Since I've already cloned it earlier, this is the result. Now, let's try to open the cloned one. Okay, now that the two memo emulators are open, this is the original one on the left side and this is the cloned one on the right side you can check above that this is cloned from memo so the game and all the apps i installed earlier were already copied on the second emulator and you can just select the game that you want to play and play it at the same time okay i now have the game opened as, as, and as you can see here i have two accounts open however they're both on a different server I believe, uh, let's check. Okay, let's try to go on the gachapon. As you can see, they're both moving at the same time. Now, this is a different player, and this is a different player as well. Ammo Gamer and Lord Steam. So I'm controlling them at the same time, which would make it easier to grind or do quests at the same time using your character. So that's it guys. This is how you can play the game using Memo Play on your desktop or laptop computer. Now, if this helped you guys, I'm going to be making another video on how you can do this or how you can control your characters at the same time while playing the game and happy gaming.